I made around $10,000 in the past years through different income streams that have one thing in common. They are all connected to the data analytics space. And if you are within the same space, maybe you're working full time as a data analyst or a data scientist, or maybe you're simply learning. Well, you are very lucky because you now have a lot of options to make money out of it. And in this video, I'll cover precisely what all these options are. Ciao friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lore, I'm a data analyst working at Amazon. And well, I spent the past years trying to see how I could make money within the data analytics and data science space beyond the income that I was getting from my full-time job. And after a lot of trial and error, I will tell you now what I think are the best options to make some extra money. This will be both active income ideas, meaning that you will need to exchange your time for money, but also passive income ideas, meaning that you do the work up front and then you continue to earn money from it without having to put in more time or effort. And because I try most of these options myself, I will also rate them based on one, how hard it is to get started and two, what is the potential income that you can get out of them. All right, enough for the intro, let's get into the so what of this video. Okay, so the first idea is consulting services. And well, this means offering consulting services to clients seeking data analysis or data science support. And this could include tasks like data cleaning, data visualization, statistical analysis, and much more. Now, the best platforms to find such opportunities are probably Upwork and Fiverr. And let me quickly show you how that looks like. Okay, and so if I quickly open the Upwork site and then I type in, for example, Tableau, and then I do the search, you can see that I have a few options here. So let's open this one here, for example. So I see the uh, job description and also I see the, um, the fixed price for this project is 4,000 uh, pounds. They require an expert level and is uh, actually a contract to hire. So this job has the potential to turn into a full-time role. And so as you can see, these tasks could be ad hoc tasks. So, you know, you create one dashboard and you are pretty much done. All this could also be long term projects. And so, you know, if you do a good job, then you might be needed for similar tasks too. And well, I was able to find a US based tech startup that needed help with building a reporting platform. And well, I was working for them mainly during the weekend and I made very good money out of it. Plus, I actually learned a bit of web development as well. And so for this opportunity, in terms of getting started, I would say it would be a four out of five because you need to be pretty good with your skills to be able to offer this service. Plus, you have to find a client that values your work and expertise. But also the opportunity would be a four out of five in terms of maintenance because it will become easier to get jobs after the first ones are successful. And you will build some sort of reputation. And as said, you can get a lot of money out of consulting services. And this is why people actually choose to be freelancer full time, right? It pays off. Number two is freelance writing. So freelance writing involves writing articles or blog posts for publications that focus on data analysis and data science. As a data analyst, you can use your expertise to write informative pieces on topics like big data, machine learning, and data visualization. You can find freelance writing opportunities again on websites like Upwork or Fiverr, or by reaching out to publications directly. And let me show you an example here. So this is a website called Built-in, and there are a lot of people here writing about data stuff. They have a form to fill up to become a writer. So if you're interested, try to give it a go. Freelance writing is an active income idea as you will need to exchange your time for money. However, if you enjoy writing and have a passion for data analysis, it can be a great way to earn some extra income while also building your portfolio and establishing yourself as an expert in the field. And so for this option, I would say it's a three out of five in terms of how easy it is to get started because you just need good writing skills to get going. But also the opportunity will be a two out of five because there are some platforms paying very well for this service, but you are likely not making a living out of online articles. Ideas number three is online courses. So online courses involve creating and selling courses on data analysis tools and techniques such as Python, R or SQL. And these courses can be sold through platforms like Udemy or Coursera, or you can create your own website to host and sell your courses. 
This is a passive income idea as you do the work up front and then continue to earn money from it without having to put in more time or effort. However, creating and marketing a successful course can be time consuming and requires a significant amount of expertise in the subject matter. The cost for this option would be, in my opinion, a 5 out of 5 simply because it's a lot of effort to create a comprehensive and quality course. Also, you will need the right equipment, being comfortable in front of the camera and all of that. And the opportunity, I would say, is a 4 because if you do a good job in terms of content and marketing, then the return can be crazy and require minimal effort to maintain it as a passive income. Idea number four is digital products. Digital products refer to any products that can be sold and delivered digitally, such as templates or ebooks. As a data analyst, you can create and sell digital products related to data analytics, such as templates for visualization or spreadsheets for data analysis. And one cool idea is to resell templates that you might have created for yourself, right? Maybe you have a personal finance spreadsheet that uh, you use to manage your money or investments, or even a fitness tracker to check your fitness progress. I think as long as you have something that you're using yourself, that you see it's working, then you are good to go. You can just package it and make it a uh, bit more aesthetically pleasing, put it online and see what happens. And if you are creating something new, just make sure to test it. Maybe ask feedback from a friend just to make sure it can bring value to people out there. You can sell these products on your own website or on platform like Etsy. And this is a passive income idea. You probably need only a few hours to create a template or similar. So the cost of getting started is, I would say, a two out of five. And the potential income, I would say, is a three, just because it really depends on the amount of people you can reach when you put it online. Idea number five, data analytics blogging. Data analytics blogging involves starting a blog focused on data analytics, sharing insights and tips. And you can generate income through advertising and affiliate marketing. The cost of starting a blog is probably a 2 out of 5 because, again, you just need good writing skills and good content to put out there, plus also a good degree of consistency. Also, you can easily reuse a free website template to design your blog. And the opportunity, I would probably say, is a 2 out of 5 because it really needs a huge traffic of people through your website to generate some sort of income. Idea number 6 is content creation. Content creation involves creating various forms of media such as videos and podcasts that are meant to inform or entertain an audience. As a data analyst, you can create content that showcases your expertise in the field such as tutorials on data analysis tools or informative videos on data visualization techniques. And well, if you need inspiration for content ideas, you can just check my Instagram or TikTok page and you can generate income through various means such as sponsorship or affiliate marketing. Now, if you are able to be consistent and put quality content out there, you will see that you will slowly start to create a community and companies will start to reach out to you. And this is precisely what's happening to me and I can tell you it was hard for me to understand the amount of opportunities that this type of work can bring, but trust me, the potential is huge. The cost and opportunity for content creation vary depending on the medium and the content itself. Creating a video, you know, requires equipment, scripting skills, public speaking skills, editing skills, and a huge amount of motivation and consistency. So I would probably give it a 4 out of 5 in terms of starting with this option. However, I would rate it a 4 out of 5 for its potential. There are many lucrative opportunities that can arise from this option, not all of which are necessarily related to content creation. Idea number 7 is coaching or mentoring. Mentoring involves providing guidance and advice to someone who is seeking to improve their skills or knowledge in a particular area. As a data analyst, you can offer mentoring services to individuals who are looking to improve their data analysis skills. This could also include providing one-on-one -on -one coaching, creating educational resources, or offering feedback on projects or assignments. Or you can also help people in the process of landing a job in data, giving instruction on how to write a resume, or even do mock-up interviews. Mentoring is an active income idea as you will need to exchange your time for money. However, it can be a great way to share your expertise with others and help them achieve their goals. And probably the best thing of this income idea is the amount of satisfaction that can bring after seeing that you are able to help a person on the other side, whatever the goal of this person might be. 
And I'm telling you this because I'm mentoring around 10 people at the moment, so in case you're interested, you can book a call from a link that I will put in the video description. The cost to start with this type of option is pretty high, maybe a 4 out of 5, just because you need to build some sort of reputation and expertise in the field to really be able to provide good value and offer a great service. The potential is also a 4 out of 5, since the more you build that reputation, the more you can charge, making it a more lucrative option. Idea number eight is medium articles. This idea is similar to the blogging idea that I explained before, but the difference is that here you will leverage on this platform called Medium, which is a popular blogging platform where users can create articles on a variety of topics. The way Medium works is that they have a pattern program that allows writers to earn money based on the engagement their articles receive from the Medium members. Medium members pay a monthly subscription fee and a portion of that fee is distributed to the writers whose articles they engage with. And obviously the more engagement an article receives, the more money the writer earns. Towards Data Science is a Medium publication that focuses specifically on data analysis and data science. By writing articles for Towards Data Science or other Medium publications, you can share your insights and tips on data analysis while also generating income through the Medium platform itself. And just to give an example, this article that I have here about how to manage money with Python made me almost $300 without me doing any sort of promotion. Cost opportunity here, I would give both a two out of five as you can very easily start and write about anything, but then you need to get lucky and have your article going semi-viral to get a good return out of it. And there you go, guys. These are my best income generating opportunity for data analysts beyond a traditional full-time job. By doing so, you can not only make some extra money, but also continue to grow and develop as a data analyst. And well, if you got some sort of value from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and also leave a comment below with whatever you have in mind, as this is the best way for me to connect with you. I will also leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out, and well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now, and see you in the next one.